Synthesis Level 1 Hey there, VLSI Verse fam. Have you ever wondered how all the tech magic happens inside your phone or laptop? Well, today, we're going to dive into how a design gets converted into actual circuits, synthesis in the VLSI world. Brace yourselves for a super fun and easy to understand ride. What is synthesis exactly? It is the level one process in turning your code into a physical chip. It's the first step in the physical design process. Let's understand this with a simple example. Imagine you're baking cookies. You have a recipe, ingredients, and of course your oven settings. In the VLSI world, when we're making circuits, we need similar things. We start with a recipe, which is our RTL code, our ingredients like libraries, and the baking settings like timing and power constraints. Let's jump into these one by one. So what's the recipe? In chip design, it's called RTL code or register transfer level code. Just like how a recipe tells you to mix flour and sugar to make cookies, RTL code tells the computer what operations to perform, like adding two numbers or storing data. For instance, the code might say, take two inputs and add them together when the user presses a button. Simple, right? Like A plus B equals C. Now imagine baking those cookies. You need to set the oven to the right temperature and time it correctly so you don't burn them. In synthesis, these are your constraints. Constraints make sure your design runs fast enough, fits in the chip, and doesn't use too much power, just like setting your oven to the right temp for the perfect cookie. Example, for a calculator chip, your constraint could be finish the calculation in less than one second. And of course, you need your tools to bake cookies, like a mixing bowl, whisk, and cookie cutters. In chip design, the tools are the libraries. They have all the basic building blocks like AND, OR, and NOT gates that we need to create our circuit. Without them, we're stuck. Example, if you're trying to build a calculator, you'll use library blocks that add numbers together. Now, here's where the magic happens. Once we have the RTL code, constraints, and libraries, the synthesis tool takes over. It's like a robot chef that reads the recipe, uses the tools, and bakes the perfect circuit for us. Imagine telling a robot, here's my cookie dough and recipe, go bake. The robot follows the recipe exactly and you end up with perfectly baked cookies, or in our case, a circuit ready to run. Enough of examples. I hope you got some idea of how the synthesis process works. Now let's see the technical aspect of what is synthesis. Synthesis is simply of converting a RTL to a netlist. What is a netlist? It's basically interconnections of various gates. If you want to learn about more of these inputs, check out my last video, Libraries and PDKs. You may want to take a note of this. Synthesis is defined as the process of converting a technology-independent behavioral RTL code into a technology-dependent gate-level netlist. What is technology-dependent is that when we add the libraries and other inputs along with the RTL code, the libraries are given by the foundries which has the information of various logic gates in a particular technology node. When the synthesis happens, these libraries are used to convert the RTL. So all the physical information, logical information, is added to the design, making it technology dependent. Whereas when the RTL is coded, there is no tech file used, hence it's technology independent. Therefore, we can use the same RTL for various technology node. All right, now let's connect the dots between RTL code, the schematic, and the gate-level netlist, three key pieces of the puzzle in building a chip. Once this RTL code is synthesized, we get something called a schematic, still at the level of logic gates, ands, ors, and nots, but it's visual. The schematic shows how these gates are wired together to make the whole system work. You can literally see how the inputs flow through the gates, leading to the outputs. But we're not done yet the gate-level netlist. This netlist is a super detailed list that tells the tools exactly what gates to use and how to connect them on silicon. At this point, we're not talking abstract logic anymore. We're down to actual gates that the hardware can use. Now let's talk about SDC, or Synopsis Design Constraints. Think of it as a rule book that tells your design how to behave. It defines the timing and area constraints for your circuit making sure everything runs smoothly and efficiently. For example, 
it might specify that a certain part of your circuit has to respond within a certain time. Without these constraints, your design could end up too slow or wasteful. In short, SDC ensures your circuit performs just right within the limits you set. Next up, let's dive into SPEEF, or Standard Parasitic Exchange Format. Think of a SPEF as a detailed map of all the tiny hidden resistances and capacitances in your circuit's wires. These parasitics can slow down signals or cause unwanted delays, so SPEEF provides the necessary data to account for them. By including parasitics in your analysis, tools can ensure your design runs at the right speed. Without this info, your chip might work on paper but fail in real-world conditions. In short, SPEF helps your circuit stay on track by managing the unseen obstacles. Note that SPEF primarily contains the RC information of interconnections, nets, not the standard cells themselves. It describes the parasitic resistances, capacitances of the nets, net and pin names, and hierarchical information showing how, how parasitics are distributed across different levels or blocks in the circuit. Think we're done? Not even close. In the next video, we're diving into synthesis optimizations, how to make your designs faster and more efficient. We'll cover sanity checks, constraints, and the tools that elevate your chip game. Don't sleep on this. Get ready for that engineering riz, because you don't want that FOMO. All right, VLSI-verse champs, that's a wrap. Now you know how RTL, constraints, and those sneaky parasitics all come together to make the magic happen inside your favorite devices. From code to circuits, every tiny move counts. If you're vibing with this, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and slap the bell so you never miss out on the next tech drop. Got any thoughts or questions? Drop them in the comments. Stay hyped, stay curious, and keep pushing those boundaries. Catch you in the next one, fam. Peace out.